Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Sushi Striker, the way of Sushido on Nintendo Switch and 3DS systems. We're continuing on with Chapter 2, so let's jump on in for another awesome 30 minute episode and have a great time. I am excited for it. We have met a new character named Archie or whatever and he decided to um, have us do a detour, so let's see what's going on. Eat 150 or fewer plates and win. That's going to be pretty interesting. Win with 35% HP more or link 11 plates and win. So playing these levels where you have to link, it's not its not just going to be moving and just getting everything. You need to like pick and choose what you're going to be getting. So interesting. Well, if it isn't Musashi. Uh, what's with the badge? Oh. Looks good on me, doesn't it? I'm officially an Imperial Army recruit now. The nerve of this guy. You really wanted to talk? Did you seriously join the SLF? <laughs> Heck yeah, I did. I'm gonna bring sushi to the whole wide world. What a rube. <laughs> what a rube? What a rube? I don't even know what rube means. I've never heard that word. I'll have to look that up. Rube? Okay, Google. What is a rube? <laughs> a country bumpkin? You did not just call me a country bump. I've never heard that word before. What a rube. That Franklin sure has got his hooks on you, huh? It's not too late to change your mind, you know. The Empire can always use people. I'm hoping I can be the one to nab Jinrai for the Emperor. Uh, I'd be his right-hand man. Get a grip, dum-dum. Why fight for the Empire when they're hoarding all the sushi? Have it your way. I'll show you the power of. Uh, I'll show you the power you get for joining up with the winning side. Check out Hacken, the extra special sushi sprite. Sushi sprite. They hooked me up with. Hacken, Hakan. His eight plate wall can shut out any attack of seven plates or less. Oh, that's pretty good. Good luck laying a finger on me. You won't land a single strike. All right. So we're gonna do some work. And let's let's see how we do, right? So we're an enemy question mark? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> Alright, so what am I doing here? What am I doing differently? I'm starting from the middle, man. Green? I'm going green plates here. Oh, he's got that big wall. Green plates, huh? Oh gosh, that doesn't hurt. Um what do we got here? I'm going green combo. Anything green? Not even. Blue plates? I'm trying for like combos here. Stacks of plates. I got stacks on stacks, man. Oh, yo! That hurts, dude. This guy's good. I had to just get rid of him. He, my health was getting real low. I don't know, dude. I need to I need to be learning how to play this game a little bit more advanced than these basic strats that I've been using the first two episodes. Um, I don't think I got I got an S I got a Rainbow S. It's great, but I didn't get the stars, so it's okay. You know, we're not playing for stars right now. Stars are all about replayability in the game. So if you guys are playing along with, by all means, get the stars. Go for it. But that was really tough. I, I was changing my tactics a little bit to focus on like doing combos of getting the same plates 
and just focusing on plate colors, but his little wall thing was crazy good. Are you kidding me? Don't think I'll forget this. You're going to be sorry the next time I see you. Wah. What a baby. Sheesh, that guy just can't stop dropping his stuff all over. So. Looks like the least powerful lane drive gear. This one's a little gear. You got a little gear. Alright. It moves a little slower than your Sushi Striker gear. It's good to train with. Huh, well, maybe I'll hold on to it just in case he wants it back the next time we meet. What a nice lady Musashi is. How nice. Okay, so we're moving on. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Shrine Grove Path number six. We are going to make three or more glowing plates. Okay, that's very easy to do. And then the uh, the first one is win with 20 or more percent of your HP. What was the first one again? Win with 100 and fewer seconds left. Okay, so we just got to do this fast. And I think we can do it. If I focus on plate colors and get that Sushi Jubilee, I think we should be set. Hey! It's you, the jerks who kidnapped Franklin. Do I know this kid? Why is she up in our business? Quit calling me kid. The name's Musashi. I'm with the Sushi Liberation Front. <laughs> You're telling me. You're telling me, Jinrai threw in with this noodle armed half pint? Good. Now you're getting it. Weak sauce? Weak sauce? <laughs> Dude, the writing is hilarious. Uh, then again, this might be the perfect chance to stretch my muscles. Huh, a real sushi striker never passes up a chance for a little exercise. You're just getting warmed up. You're just getting warmed up. You don't stand a chance against the real pros. Work this clown over, man. Okay, great. No mozo, elecan inazo. All right, let's let's see what we got here. All right, as long as I don't have that barrier, I just gotta kind of focus here. Let's see if we can knock these fools out. Okay, I got pink plate. What's this green down? Uh oh, I don't know what that is. I, I'm doing pink plate. All right, so now I did pink plate. I guess I can, oh, I didn't get anything. What happened? Where'd my plate go? What a punk. Fifteen on orange, let's go blue. Blue is trash, that uh, wasn't really good. Try blue again. A little bit, a little bit of a combo on blue. Uh, we can do a little bit of green. I'm starting the bottom again. Like, I need to start up top and work my way down. Work down the line. Hidden plates, huh? Come on, what do we got? Dude took my plate I was just hovering on. Sushi Bonanza ready? I guess I can do that. Can I take care of this guy or what? Got him. Oh, wow, that was rough, dude. It's so cold all of a sudden. Put a shirt on already. <laughs> what? I don't think I got nearly all those stars on it. A C rank. Oh, yeah. I didn't do so hot. Well, that's okay. We're still learning how to play the game. The game is getting a little bit harder, I'll admit. But as long as we beat the levels, right? Fatty Albacore Tuna ate your fill. Uh, the raw power of Nia Zin courses through you. 
Okay, I'll have to look up what Nia Zin is. Uh, that may be a new ability better than the salmon, whatever A tax is. Huh, you've got some muscle on you after all. General Kodiak, sir. We've got trouble. We've got trouble. The Sushi Liberation Front has attacked the Shrine Grove. What a weak stunt. That weasel Masa, talk about bait and switch. Looks like we got I got frustrations to work out elsewhere. You guys slam this kid for me. Slamming, sir. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna sit here and battle all day? Slamming, sir! What are these numbers? Oh, okay, that's a two and then a three. Like, what do those numbers on the ground mean? Okay, interesting. So here we go. This one's gonna be start two more sushi jubilees. That's fine. Enzo, you okay, buddy? Do a two combo and win. I could do that. And then eat 195 fewer plates. All right. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see what's going to happen. Sushi Striker. Kodiak's first Splatoon. Splatoon. All right, let's go pink plates right off the bat. Oh, yeah, blue. That's right. That's exactly what I wanted. Blue? Look at this three. It's trash. Come on. Any blue? Seven, eight. There's the blue combo that I was looking for, at least. Oh! He's getting that big sweets paradise. No! We can do uh, blue up here. Yeah! Skill charger, sweets paradise, ready. We're gonna go. Anything? Anything? Yeah! Sushi Bonanza, let's do it right about now. Hidden plates! Oh my gosh. Uh oh, we might lose. There we go. I just had to toss those plates, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. This kid doesn't have a single muscle and I'm the loser here? I'm the better striker, though I do wish I had cool muscles. Especially spiky muscles like that. We got a B rank. Hey, you know what? We'll take it. We did our three stars. That's fine. Oh my. Okay, good job. Our little guy is giving us even better. California roll. California roll. So we do, we are sitting on a lot of our experience charms. I kind of want to just give it to Jinrai, man. Jinrai's good. Whenever we use Jinrai special, we will automatically get like a 20 combo. Can't anybody in the Imperial Army pick up after themselves? I recognize this as a training black belt. You got a training black belt. Neat, what's it for? Well, if you set it as your prepared item, your max HP is halved in battle. What? Why would I want to do that? True, it does put you at a severe handicap. But if you can win regardless, you'll earn 1.5 times your overall score. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can go back to your beginner levels and you can replay them with the training belt on and you get your rainbow S's, done. Indeed, with the higher scores comes more experience, better results and increased rank. Any stage you complete while wearing this will be marked with a black belt insignia, okay. Uh, if you're ready for the intense challenge, put on that belt. Hey, dude, we, un we just unlocked hard mode. We didn't have to 100% the game. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna use some of my experience stuff. Like, there's no point in sitting at, on it right now. I'm at a point where I'm barely surviving. So let's go Jinrai, man. Let's just go all in on Jinrai, dude. Sushi Bonanza leveling up. Great, great. I got these things. Let's Jinrai it up. 250, 250, and there's another 250. That's fine. Jinrai, man. 
Let's get him to evolve. What level does Jinrai evolve? Alright, here we go. So, we're gonna jump on in. This is going to be, uh, do it in 105 fewer seconds. Use skills five times or fewer and win. Okay, only five. Link 11 more plates. I think we could do that. Alright, here we go. This is Nomo, Penzo, Elecan. Yeah, sure. Don't care about that. We just have to do the specials five times. Hidden plates. Eating that food. Shared lane. Start with the shared lane on top. Five greens right off the bat. Blues? That's not a combo. Blues to greens is not a combo. Um, but, uh, I guess I can do greens now? Thirteen? Alright, I can do greens again. Check this out. Greens in the shared lane, baby. Okay, that's trash. I'll do more greens. We'll get some huge combo bonuses right here. Any other greens? Greens in the shared lane? Oh my gosh, I'm really just sniping right here. Okay, so I think I just- I- I totally KO'd myself here. That was not worth it. We did a big chunk of damage to him, which is pretty decent. What was that, pink plates? Alright, we can do, uh, green now? Dang. What are these silver plates? I don't think I've ever seen those. Alright, let's do this. Uh, let's do sweets. That's great. I will connect this with anything I want. Sushi Bonanza was okay. That was alright. We didn't do too hot with that one. A lot of red plates in a row here. Let's just toss him, dude. Get him out of here. I saw his health bar and I'm like, dude, I got a full table full of plates right here. Let's knock him out. I thought all that working out was uh, so I'd be ready for this. What does working out have to do with sushi striking? So you can throw plates faster and stronger, right? That's a C rank. That was not a good score. We didn't do it fast, so therefore we didn't get that first star. But that's okay. We could always replay it again. Sushi striker. I know what I'm going to be doing on my... Uh, on my flight to E3, dude. I'm gonna be playing this game. Sushi Striker, go! I need, like, a, a battery pack. Yeah, I need to find a Nintendo Switch battery pack floating around somewhere. Okay, here we go. Shrine Grove path number nine. Let's continue on and make three or more glowing plates. That's easy to do. We can do that all the time. Uh, and then this one is start two or more Sushi Jubilees. And then I gotta find out what the first one is. Use one or more skills and win. Uh, yeah, that was, that's okay. We can do it. One or more skills. It's just basic stuff. We typically always use a skill whenever we see it lit up. So here's Captain Braun. Good luck. Good luck. Right. Start from the top. Give me the blues. Yeah. And work my way down. With a six combo. A big six combo. Let's start with some reds. That's a big 10. That's a, a glowing plate that we were looking for. Hidden plates, baby! Hidden plates! Now we're doing some real good work. You guys can see these chains happening, right? Yeah. 
Get him out of here. Right as he's electro zapping me. I'm like, dude, I'm sitting on a whole bunch of plates. Let's just toss him. Let's get him out of here. Buh. But I'm the squad captain. I'm too cut to lose. Your rank and your build won't matter if you're in my way. Okay, that's decent. 40,000. We'll take an A. Take an A rank. Let's go. And we got our three stars. So beautiful. Okay, and we got that big bonus. Huzzah! Okay, you ate your fill. The raw power of Lyce, of course, is through you. Oh, and we got shrimp. We got Arg9. What are these powers? I didn't even look at the other ones, so let's look at all the powers. Now that we have four of them available, we should go adjust our moveset. Squad Alpha, Squad Alpha will hold the line. Squad Gamma should restock plates and support them. You heard him move out. Sweet. Musashi. Ah, greetings, Masashi. Mm -hmm. Back at ya. How's it going over here? Did you free the Shrine Grove? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. Their commander is too formidable. Our initial push failed. What? No joke. Um, well, I'll fix that. Good thing I showed up. I'll send their commander packing. Okay. Oh, check that out. We're going in the water. Area 18. All right, so let's go check out our abilities, which is going to be in uh, this area. Not catalog, but striker specs. This is going to be favorite sushi. We got some new ones. This one is restores your HP by 2% for every 40 plates you eat for squid. That's decent. Increase your HP recovery from sweets and fruit by 20%, but also increase the time you can't move after eating wasabi by 20%. I don't remember ever seeing wasabi on there. Increase your experience and active sushi sprites. Oh, dude, we're done. Increases increases experience by 9%. Dude, that's no that's no contest. We just do it. Increasing experience by 9%. Yeah, come on now. Eat shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. Long story short, eat shrimp. All right, so beat it with 35% or more, link 11 or more plates and win, and of course, uh, eat 140 fewer. I don't know how we're gonna do these battles with 140 fewer. I think we just eventually get stronger and we have to revisit those. These Sushi Liberation Front jokers don't know when to quit. Oh, who cares? Try all you want, but we'll never back down. So, like... uh, you're in charge here? Sweet. Sweet, an easy win for the Sushi Liberation Front. Ha, huh, you got guts, kid. Who's that? Oh, this guy again. <laughs> But the Shrine Grove is too juicy to give up. It's right in the heart of the Republic turf. You expect me to just do squats while you hand it over to the SLF? You heard the boss. Heard the boss? Get ready to throw down. Stop. Stop the fight. Isn't this? God, is this? Isn't? Isn't this the new blood? Hands off! If anyone's gonna beat this jerk, Masashi, it's gonna be me. Huh? Big talk from a pipsqueak who already bit the dust once. Huh? All I need is one more chance. You'll see. Uh, sure, take your shot, but I don't keep softies around. If you lose, you're out. Out? Out of uh, the whole unit? That does it, Musashi. This is all your fault. Okay, well, maybe we can give him his small lane driver. He does have Hacken again. Eight plate wall, Electro Zap, double edged lanes. I don't know what double edged lanes mean. He's got some pretty good sushi sprites. Where's he getting all of them from? Okay, sworn enemy, Private Kajiro. Ah, oh, I see some pinks Eight coming over here. Oh, that, that wall, dude. Uh. <laughs> What's a double-edged lane? <laughs> Nothing goes through the wall unless it's an eight stack. Okay, that's that's kind of helpful. Thank you, buddy. Mmm. <laughs> Eight tall. Nine ten. Hidden plates.
done. KO, dude. Come on. Ah, oh, don't you know they'll fire me for this? Sorry about getting you fired. Maybe you just leave the Empire? That was easy. 33. Oh, that big ass rank. Love it. One, two, three. Beautiful. And give me that plus 9% yummy experience. Yes. Level up, baby. And we got some experience charms, so we might just keep on dumping them into Jinrai. Just keep going, dude. Seriously, again, this isn't over. I'll hold this grudge for a thousand years if I have to. When did that guy get so wound up? Okay, well, uh, let's actually use our experience and we'll go from there. So let's use our items. We've got three of these things. I think Jinrai is just about ready to go. Every level we're getting one of them, so we're just gonna keep on going until Jinrai evolves and then we're gonna do something awesome. I don't even know what he evolves into, but we've seen it in like the beginning trailer or whatever the song. All right, so get three or more glowing plates and win. That's easy. The next one is eat 80 or more plates and win. I could eat more than 80 and make a two hit combo. All right, two hit combo is simple. Just aim for blue plates, wait a little bit, and then aim for more blue plates. Okay, huh, I should have known. Kid had no iron in his blood as the problem. Men, it's time to show this runt what it's like to fight someone properly shredded. Spot me while I dish out the sushi shuffle, boss. Another power? What's this one do? Stay sharp. Stay sharp, Musashi. They're going to try to rearrange the sushi on the belts. Let's mix it up. Let's not. All right, here we go. Feiten, Elekan, and Inazo. Sure. Sushi Strikers. If you're gonna run, now's the time. All right. Oh, look at all these blues. I'm just gonna go blue right away. Help! Okay, so we got blue, and then I'm gonna try for another blue combo. Okay, so there's the blue combo that we're looking for. Now we need to just eat. Jubilee time! Oh, he's already got Jubilee time? What the heck just happened there? Oh, so he was doing that little mix-up thing that he was uh, telling us about? He's got a lot of HP. I need Jinrai, man. Here we go. So we're gonna keep on doing this. So when I'm in Sushi Jubilee, should I just fire my stuff that's on my plate? Maybe. <laughs> Shuffle all the sushi all you want. I'm gonna eat it all anyway. Oh, it should have worked. That's a B rank. That's a B rank. What do you mean that's a B rank? I mean, we got our stars, but that's okay. We'll come back and replay it if we need to. Okay, so 517, and then of course we're getting that plus 9%. So. California roll. Ooh, Jinrai. Horse mackerel. Ooh, Eno Ace. Maybe Eno Ace is a little bit better. We gotta check it. Every time we get one of those specials, we gotta check it just to see what it gives you. We goofed up. We goofed up, boss. It's up to you now. Go for it, men. We're punching above our weight here, men. Hit the showers. Hey, you can't just leave. Musashi. Don't be so hasty, Musashi. There's no need to give chase. 
But those guys would know uh, where they're holding Franklin. You did well here today. You did well here today. We won a great victory, but our forces badly need it rest. Seems to me. It seems to me that this shrine grove would be the perfect place to fortify ourselves. <sighs> yeah, okay. Chapter three, what do we- You guys are sweet. Thanks to Usashi, we got the forest fixed up nice and tight like it used to be. <laughs> Let me hit you with one more favor. It'll be big. I want to open the best sushi restaurant ever. Beg your pardon? The Empire's got their grubby paws on all sushi. Seeing folks go without gets me right in the gut. So I thought I'd build a place they could get the good stuff and cheap too. Are you as bewildered by all this as I am? See, the sushi flows around and around, like a merry-go-round. The sushi flows around and around? I just can't picture it. Hey, that's okay. It's never been done before. But when I'm through, it'll be sushi heaven. Dream big, says I. Whoa, Kyoten Tear. Blowing sushi is an interesting idea. Let wise old Kyoten make it happen. Whoa, check it out! Thanks a million, good buddy! Whoa! That's cool. That's the chapter. Right? Oh, that's pretty great. I see. I see. So on top of the incident with Jinrai, you lost an important base to the enemy. It's one blunder after another with you, isn't it, Kodiak? That was the last one, honest! Hm. SLF. If the SLF grows entrenched with the Shrine Grove, they'll attack the border gate so next. I must ask myself. Should I risk leaving its defense to you? You can count on me! I'll keep an iron grip on the border. I hope so. Because if you fail again, even you won't escape the facility. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's that Musashi. If we get rid of the kid, the rest of the SLF are pushovers. <laughs> hmm, then do you have a plan to accomplish this? Ha, huh, yep, you gotta send a punk kid to beat a punk kid. <laughs> Alright, hey, we did it! Celia Strikes. All right, we're going to do chapter three on the next episode. Uh, let's just kind of get to an area where we can kind of stop, and we'll go from there. So how long are we going to hang around here? <laughs> Musashi. We need a headquarters, Musashi. This shrine grove is the best candidate. But if we stay here too long, building it, the Empire will be on the move. Come on, Masa, you got to let me push them back to the border. Mm, it's a delicate balance. It's a delicate balance to walk. I admit. Hmm. If I pull too tight on our leash, you might end up slipping it entirely. Very well. Very well. You have my permission to drive them back to the border. Yay! Great. We'll do it. But their border defenses are formidable. Don't stay too close or be too reckless. You got it. Safety first and all. Hmm. I don't understand what your hurry is. Look. Look, the guys who took Franklin can't have gotten far yet. I gotta do something. Well, well. Hmm, I take your point, but the ability to compromise is a mark of maturity. Come on. Uh, these maturity comments aren't subtle, you know. That said, that said I find uh, that I like Masa better from a safe remove. Oh. I think that the border would be a good distance away from him, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I knew we were on the same page, buddy. Wink, wink. Okay. Whoa, check this out. Whoa, 3D elements in this game? What? What's going on? Musashi! Yo, Musashi! Musashi. Musashi. Hey. Archie, how's it going with the sushi store? So here's the deal. It's going good. Word's getting out there about <laughs> us. I'll let you know if anyone who comes in uh, lets something good and slip. Then? I'm thinking of building other stuff here too. Wait till you see what I got in mind. <laughs> This place is enough for you. Not even close. We already got the Sushi Sprite Shrine and the arena going. You're off to the border, right? You ought to stop by the shrine and pray for a victory. Huh, so there's a Sushi Sprite Shrine here. I'll go check it out. Best of luck, buddy. Alright, can I... Okay, I think we're here. Or not. Gah! Look who it is. It's an attendant. Oh, this is the Sushi Sprite Shrine. 
Oh, you're Musashi. Many thanks for saving the Shrine Grove. Musashi. Musashi, you can receive your striker rank and pick up your divine orders here. Yeah, I don't know what any of this is. Uh, but, and, okay, let's just talk about it and then we'll go from there. What's a striker rank? Uh. As the name suggests, it shows how strong of a sushi striker you also. are. When your rank goes up, you can pledge with more sushi sprites. Also, also you receive fun new items to celebrate your new rank. Hey. Oh, that's great. Sounds amazing. How do I increase my rank? Uh. Accomplish triumphs in the secret scroll and then return hey. here. Then you'll be able to check the secret scroll to see how to increase your rank. Ah. ah, you can now check the secret scroll to see how to raise your striker ah. rank. All right, please check the secret scroll later. Do you need anything? Do you need anything else? We're the lowest. Wow. Uh, what are divine orders? Uh, what are divine orders? If you place an order under one of the chosen names, you'll receive a gift. Oh, dude, we'll do that. I know all the secret gifts. Okay, uh, if you have a valid divine order, please come back here and check. Do you need anything? Do you need anything else? Uh, I want to raise my striker rank. So, like, I'd like to raise my striker rank. Understood. Understood. I'll send a request to your ah. supreme sprite. Ugh, I can't even talk. Supreme sprite. Rank up to level two. Hey, that's pretty cool. Congratulations. Congratulations, Musashi. Your striker rank yeah. has increased to two. Well then, please take the super gear as a reward for raising your rank. You got a super gear. Woohoo. Do you need anything? Uh, no, I'm okay. Musashi. Please take this. Oh, you got a potential plate. Uh, uh potential plate? Yes. Yeah, this plate was separated from its holder when the Empire retreated. This, uh, set this as your prepared item and then start a sushi Thank battle. You. If you prove yourself worthy, the sushi sprite in this plate might pledge itself to you. Oh, oh that's cool. Also, do you remember that your striker rank is just as important as your battle results? Uh, if anyone can do it, it's you. Sounds good, I'll take all the help I can get. Oh, dude, come back again whenever you like. No, I really like that, because now this game gets a lot deeper. Can I leave now? Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna put my controller down and we're gonna end off the episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. We are indeed doing a giveaway, so make sure that you guys enter that by clicking the link in the description below, smashing that like button, sharing the video with a friend, and of course, letting me know what your favorite part of the episode was in the comment section. So, I'm excited. We've got a lot of things to check out on our secret scroll, and we're only gonna get better at this game. So, thank you so much for watching. And of course, on screen right now, you guys can see that there are abilities to click on the subscribe button and all that fun stuff. So click on those, and of course, we will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.